Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the normal stress. The normal stress is a special type of stress created inside an object due to the force acting perpendicular to the cross-sectional area. So, if I consider this in an object and the force acting perpendicular to this object, like this force makes an angle of 90 degree here with this object, so due to this force acting perpendicular to this area, cross-sectional area of this object, so we call the stresses created inside of this object, we call is the normal stresses. So the force should must be perpendicular to the cross-sectional area. Then we call this type of stresses created inside a in body or object as the normal stresses. So similar example taken here to explain the concept of the normal stress with an example. So this is considered any beam or an object and this beam or object is subjected to the tension force here as well, here as well on both sides. You can consider this P and this is also P. So due to this tension on both sides of the beam, this beam will stretch along its length and its length will be increased from its original length. So due to this force which is perpendicular to this area of, the, of this object, this force will create some stresses and we call this type of stresses as the normal stresses is these forces is this force is normal to the area of this object or perpendicular to this area of the object this force so it will create the normal stresses now if i draw the cross section of this area let's suppose this is the cross section taken this is the area of this object and i want to show this section of this object of this beam so to show this section, I will draw it here. So this section, only this section, only this part of this beam has been drawn here to show the normal stresses. So this normal force P is acting is shown here. So this force, now this force is acting normal to this area, and due to this force, there are some stresses create inside this object and these stresses are called as the normal stresses you see here due to this force applied there will be some opposite reaction forces created along this area and these forces makes the normal stresses so this force act at this only one point so there is only stresses concentration here at this point but we ignore the concentration and we assume that the stress that the force act along only one point but the stress creates along the whole length and along the whole area of the object because it is the assumption regarding the uh, uh, normal stresses so in reality this force acts only at one point here and similarly this force acts only at one point here at the middle of this section but this force is then distributed along the whole area uniformly right but this is in reality and we see here the uniform distribution of the forces here at this midsection. But in theory and assumption, we assume that this force acting at this point is not just acting concentrated at this point, but it has been assumed that it is uniformly distributed all over the area, even taking this point area or even taking the middle section, it has been uniformly distributed. But in reality, this force acts only at one point, making a stress concentration here and then distributed uniformly along the midsection but due to the assumption we take that the stress are uniformly distributed along the area of the cross section so the normal stress will be equal to the the force acting here p dividing by the area of the cross section which is this area so now let's consider that the section area this area presented here is the height and this is the width and this is the height so let's assume that this height is 100 mm and also the width of this section is 100 mm and we want to find the stresses created due to this load which is assumed to be 200 kilonewton so how much stress is created in this object in this beam so we know that the force per unit area so force is 200 kilonewton and the area is the area of this 
object will be this is in millimeter right 100 millimeter and 100 millimeter so 100 and 200 we got 10,000 square millimeter so divided putting this area here square millimeter so we will get the stress normal stress in this object so dividing this will we get 0 0.02 kilonewton per square millimeter so now to convert this into a more specific unit like the mega pascal or pascal so what we do we multiply it with thousand so the kilonewton will be transferred to newton because one kilonewton is thousand newton so multiplying it with the thousand it will change into newton and the square millimeter in its own place so now multiplying with thousand we get 20 newton per square millimeter which is equal to the 20 megapascal which is mostly common used uh, unit of the stresses so newton per square millimeter is equal to the megapascal so one megapascal is equal to the one newton per square millimeter so we get 20 we get 20 megapascal stresses are created inside this object due to the load of 200 kilonewton and with a cross section area of 100 mm and 100 mm by increasing, by increasing this force if you increase this force the stresses will also increase because it is in direct relation with the the stresses are direct relation with the force if you increase the force the more stress will create inside the object and if you reduce the area the stress will increase so the stress is direct relation with the force and stress is inverse relation with the area if you are increasing the area the stresses will be reduced if you are decreasing the area the stresses will be increased and this lecture will also be continued in the next videos which will be about the stresses and the different cross section of the member Hope you guys understand the basic concept of the normal stresses and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.